Hi everyone, thanks for joining again. Tonight I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite recipes. I remember growing up, my mom made this dish and it's so good. It's called wine chicken. And just to give you a heads up, it is an old fashioned recipe, meaning. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's so perfect tonight, it's cold, it's raining outside, so it's just a perfect fit. You only need a few things, it's quite simple. You need chicken, white meat, uh, breadcrumbs, grated Parmesan cheese, eggs, wine, and really any red wine will do. I just use whatever I have around the house, um, Cabernet, Merlot, up to you, whichever you wanna use for a red wine, butter and olive oil. That is it. So I'm gonna start the recipe. First, I'm gonna chop up the chicken into like bite-sized pieces, okay? So you chop those up, dip them in egg, and then mix them in the half-dry mix, same as the other recipe, half-dried breadcrumbs and half of the grated Parmesan cheese. So it's half and half, and you mix those together. So you dip it in the egg first, and then in the dry mixture, and then you put it in the pan to cook. Okay, I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I feel the olive oil I've put in the pan is ready. You don't need a lot, just enough to coat your chicken. So pour it in the pan. It seems like it's warm enough, so I'm gonna start browning my chicken. Hopefully you can see this. I purposely used this specific pan so that the chicken would really stick to it. It gives it a nice crisp brown coating on the chicken. Uh, sometimes if you use a non-stick pan, it's just too smooth and you don't really get a good brown crisp coating on the chicken. So this one works really well. So I just prefer to use this for my wine chicken. Uh, so you let it brown a few minutes on each side. Okay, so all the chicken is on a clean plate on the side. Now the pan is hot and it's got the olive oil in there, plus the pieces of chicken that have been left in the pan. So I'm going to mix those two together with some butter, about one tablespoon of butter, and the wine. I'll show you what that looks like. I need a lid. Okay. 
Now you want this chicken to simmer. You do not want to boil your chicken. It just becomes tough. So have it simmering. And I'd say for about probably 10 minutes. I'll let you know, but I'm feeling it'll be about 10 minutes, okay? I'm gonna turn it on low heat. That would be better for a simmer. You don't want it mid or high. You wanna see a little bit of bubbles, but not boiling. I'm testing it to see what level it's good at. My goodness, I can't figure it out. Okay, this looks good, this is better. I'm setting my timer for five minutes. I'll test the chicken, see what it looks like and see if I need to cook it longer or not. Okay, I cooked it for about seven minutes total. And the chicken is quite perfect. It's coated nicely with the wine and it looks like a nice, dark, rich color. I don't know if you can see it from there. Let me show you. So really, it's perfect. It's so good. And it's just, I'm going to use old fashioned white rice. Uh, I'll put that as a base and then put the chicken and the gravy on top. Okay, I'll show you. I promise you, I know it looks like old fashioned 1970s, but it's so good. So from start to finish, I'd say it takes about a half an hour from prep until you're done. It's super simple and I think it's really worth trying. I think you'll love it. Okay, thanks so much. See you next time.